Hi, I'm Markay here and I'm back with another video, this time very quick, and um, about console commands, custom console commands for blueprints. So, I see you have a game and in that game, whatever that game might be, uh, you see that you can enter the console mode and write something in that console mode, like for example start FPS or something else and, and it's nice, like something happens. And you think like, oh, maybe I would like something for my game for testing, because uh, I don't know, uh, I would like to enable flying or god mode or add some maybe uh, items for my game when I'm testing, of course. And I don't really want to make widgets for that. Just, you know, simple console commands would be perfect, but I'm not really sure how to do that. And uh, you are in luck because uh, this is extremely simple and I feel like not many people know about it and use this and uh, I don't know why because it's like super straightforward. So uh, let's say I want my player to jump on console command or maybe uh, disable gravity or just enter flying or whatever, right? Let's, let's focus on jumping. So I will go to my third person character because this is just a template and make a new function. This function will be called MRK jump just because MRK is a name that will not be in any uh, other commands and it's easily find findable, right? Uh, and in that function, we just want to do jump. And this is all that my function will do for now. And to make this function, marked as a console command, we just click that function and in that advanced tab we see exec. And that exec means cause this function to be able to process console commands? Yes. And in that yes, when we start the game, oh, MRK jump, hello, hello guys, it's me, it's, it's a jump. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's just that simple, right? Like, it's extremely simple and you should use this to uh, to test your games, to debug stuff and to, you know, make your life easier. But I hear you ask, how, what about parameters? Like, if I want to, I don't know, add an item uh, to my game in set quantity, then how would I do that? A very good question, we're gonna do this in the print because I don't have an inventory system, but let's uh, make a print text, just make a format, and in that format we'll kind of simulate adding an item. So, uh, added item id id and quantity quantity it will be Quang. <laughs> I kind of like this name. It kind of feels uh, mystical. Quang. <laughs> but also ducky. Uh, okay, so we make a new parameters. Let's say this parameter will be ID of an item, which is an integer. Lovely. And another parameter that is quantity. And it's also in an integer. And we plug this in, of course, in the real situation, in the real scenario, you want to do something else with that. So use ID to look up actual items and use quantity to add the amount of items you want to add, of course. And uh, now when we start our game in our console commands, heck jump now has parameters, as you can see, ID and quantity. And now we can just like, add item of ID 5 and of quantity 10 and it just prints and it just works and it's super simple and super nice to work with and do that. Of course this will not work with shipped builds because it's not meant to work with shipped builds but it will probably work with development and test and debug builds. Basically whenever you have console commands open. And that's it from me. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked the video. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.